Hello and welcome to Wednesday, the day of Wednes. I thought I was recording, I was not, so this is just going to be take two. Um, yesterday I mentioned how uh, during the very, very long waiting time, I was reading a book. That book happens to be John Green's The Anthropocene Reviewed. Now, um, I've been a fan of John Green for quite a while. I want to say about um, 10 years at this point. And uh, I've read all his books. I have uh, quite a few signed copies of his works. I even have a poster of uh, the one movie he has. And it's uh, hanging, hanging on my wall right there. But um, I never got a chance to read this book. Um, it came out earlier this year and uh, I never gave it really any thought. And I figured since I'd be waiting a lot yesterday, why not bring a book with me? And I decided on this one. Now, I figured uh, that this would be a review of the Anthropocene Reviewed. As weird as that sounds, uh, <laughs> I've never really reviewed a book before. I've reviewed music, games, um, movies, everything. It's just never a book, and I wanted to... Um, do that now. Um, now, going into this novel, uh, there was, I knew literally nothing about it. Haven't looked it up, haven't, I could not tell you a single thing about it. And had I read the cover more, you know, attentively, I would have figured out what it was about. We could see right there in the corner, it says, uh, Essays on a Human-Centered Planet, and what that means is that this is a collection of, you know, a first-person account straight from the author, not being told through a character's eyes. This is straight from John Green's uh, brain, I guess, and this is his uh, just, you know, stories and uh, just writings on a couple of, well, I say a couple, on a quite a few things that, you know, piqued him and interest him, or he felt, uh, you know, wanted to write about in his lifetime. And, you know, these um, go back to from his childhood to pretty much, like, as he was writing this book. Um, now, there's quite a few chapters in here. I don't really remember all of them too well. <laughs> What can I say? But, uh, I'm not going... I'm... It's going to be kind of spoiler-heavy, but how can I really spoil... It feels odd spoiling this, so if you want to read the book, if you're a fan of John Green, click off the video and, uh, go read it. For now, I'm just going to relay my thoughts and touch on a few chapters. Like, uh... <laughs> oh boy. The way this book is laid out is that let's pick a random topic about anything in life. For me, let's talk about, well, uh, what's right here on my desk. Ah, let's talk about this, my Game Boy Advance SP. Um, okay, so the way John does it is that he'll pick a topic, we have really a wider variety it's from Haley's comment to Diet Dr. Pepper to the Hall of Presidents found in Disney to the internet itself to uh, <laughs> CNN uh, and uh, athletes performance on a very specific date we have quite a few things just even the concept of time <laughs> Is described in this book. Each topic he goes into and gives his take on it. For example, um, let's talk about uh, which one do I remember? Uh, let's go with uh, Googling strangers. In this chapter, uh, John describes his experience with uh, when he was in a hospital, uh, training to work at a hospital at a very 
around my age, I think, and uh, he was training. A patient came in, a very young child, that really didn't have, you know, high likelihood of living. And it was a very traumatic experience for him, and that what made him decide not to pursue a medical path. From there, uh, years later, I think during the writing of this book or during the pandemic, um, the kid had a very unique name and he decided to look up this person. Looked him up, he was doing fine. Parents are both alive and well, still together. Uh, he was I want to say, like, teenager, if not older, maybe 18 or so, had a Facebook profile, and was doing well for himself, while doing good as <laughs> good as he can do. And he would go on to review that um, experience, rating it from one to five stars. I do not remember the rating for most of these. Uh, he rated a band, his favorite band, the Mountain Goats, in here five stars. Uh, a lot of these don't have, a lot of these I don't really remember the um, actual rating, um, but I remember the uh, experience of reading it. And I guess that's kind of how, what the point in the novel is. It's not to be you know, when you're reading a book, you really want to remember the story or enjoy it. For this novel, it really isn't about the story itself. Like, I could go on probably in the next few weeks. I would not really remember anything about this book. But I will remember the, the lessons it taught me. And that's not something I can say for a lot of novels. Like. I remember the plots of a lot of books that I read. I can regale you the... I'm looking at my bookshelf now. I can regale you the plots of pretty much all the Harry Potter novels, as I spent quite a lot of time reading those books. I uh, could uh, regale you the tales of pretty much all the John Green novels, except uh, Turtles All the Way Down. I don't really remember that one. That was read on a plane uh, on my way to California. And that's another thing, when looking back on a book, you can always pinpoint where you were in your life. And that's actually one of the um, chapters in here. Um, I believe it was actually called the iPhone's Notes app. Yep. Uh, where is it? I saw it just a second ago. Is it on? Yes. The Notes app. Uh, Green would go on to... He would always have a book with him, a notepad and a pencil, just to jot down anything. And he would write down literally anything. And to me, this feels like a crime, writing in books. I've done it a couple of times and it always feels wrong, but um, he would write in books, he would highlight passages, he would write in the margins, and he would write anything in the margins, from grocery lists to something he would look want to look up later, to anything. And that is such a novel concept to me because, as I was just saying, I could tell you where I was when I read any of these books in my collection. Um, Turtles All the Way Down, I was, like I said, on a plane. Uh, the False and I Stars, uh, I was probably just in my room here. Um, a lot of these books, I was just in my room. Uh, <laughs> quite a few of them, in fact. I know um, the Harry Potter novels were read right here in, on this bed. Um, but yeah, it's weird how uh, I can be taken places with uh, different books like this. Uh, <laughs> I, I was reading, um, what is it? Uh, it was... Uh, Gentleman Thief Arsene Lupin, just uh, one of those works or something similar to, I believe, it was, uh, I was reading it at the uh, prayer service uh, a couple weeks ago, and that was, you know, it's, it's weird, I haven't can place myself exactly where it was. 
I was also reading it um, when I got the vaccine when I was waiting those 15 minutes. And uh, it's weird how that can bring me back to certain places. Um, so, where I was going with this, I don't, I can't really give this like a proper book review because it's not, it's just a collection of stories. You can't really review a collection of stories that are very eclectic. Sure, they have the running theme of, I give this experience that happened exactly to me, X amount of stars. You have to forge your own path in that case, and I, I, that's a lesson that I will pretty much carry with me for the rest of my life, I think. With, like, a novel that is an actual story, you can review that properly, you can review the, the emotions it gives you. With this, it's literally somebody else's lives through their eyes. And that's that's a really novel concept because it's not their day to day. It's literally the concept of time that like it's grass. It was you know a sporting event. It was food. It's really it's really different. And now I guess I want to say let me review something of my own. The Game Boy Advance SP. I've had this little guy for years. I got it for my maybe Christmas one day. Years ago. 2004 maybe. Maybe earlier. And this is not my original one. The original one is actually in the other room. The reason I don't use it is because the um, light-up screen does not work on it, but I want to replace that soon, and I think I will. The amount of joy and games that I've played on this system alone, the hours that I've spent are too many. I've played too much Pokemon on this thing, and I'm still playing too much Pokemon on this thing. You know, it. when you're bored as a kid, having an escape that's just pocket-sized, that you can bring anywhere, that you can boot up in an instant and play with, it's, it's a really nice thing. Um, <laughs> you know, it from pretty much, for like the years that I had it, um, up until I got the DS, you know, I, I would play this non-stop playing every single game that we had and oh boy trading some in that was not looking bad that's not the best idea it was it was a good time i really enjoy this and i can't really go into detail as uh, green does with his book at least i don't really want to at this moment but at least my experience with these i would rate for sure five stars and my experience with the novel well in the uh, where I was reading it, the uh, waiting room for the courthouse, that experience would be two stars. Reading the novel, definitely up there. I would say right around four stars. Uh, each story gives you an outlook on somebody else's life, and I really like that, how you can live somebody else's life through what you know, how, they, how they're describing it to you. You're living my life right now, how I'm describing it to you through this medium. And it's a really interesting and, again, novel kind of thing that really defines the human experience. You know, people can explain to you over the course of any kind of media, film, books, games, video, food, any kind of medium, somebody's you can experience somebody's life and being able to experience somebody else's life through a book from their perspective and how they want to describe it it's a really really cool concept that's why i give this book four stars that being said i think i'm gonna call it here for today uh, it's it's interesting reviewing a book where an unconventional book. I'm usually a fan of fiction and 
maybe sci-fi fantasy kind of stuff and having a non-fiction book from one of my auth favorite authors who primarily does fiction it's really cool to see thank you all for watching i hope to see you tomorrow and until then later <laughs>